the streaming wars continue, will brands no longer matter? Paul is serving me up the red meat this morning. I love it. I love it. So first of all, I totally agree that the mergers you're seeing that are happening in media are about achieving scale. And the reason these companies are doing this is because uh, if you know, if you go back like 50 years or 100 years, you know, the United States has been the world leader in film production and we've exported our movies and our culture to the world, right? But the way that we've done that is by uh, making the content and then selling the content to distributors worldwide. The shift that's happening now is that uh, these same companies, you know, Disney, who was making movies, whatever, 80, 100 years ago, uh, instead of selling off the rights to their movies and doing a revenue share with a distributor overseas, what they are trying to do is go direct to consumer all across the globe. That's the shift from the traditional model of uh, content distribution, uh, which is to territory things out, to streaming. Streaming is all about direct to consumer. There's no middleman, which means these companies have the opportunity to capture all of the revenue worldwide that consumers are willing to spend on their content. So in this new landscape, will brands no longer matter? You know, does it matter if they call themselves Discovery or HBO? I think branding always matters, and it's kind of like philosophy. Uh, everybody does it. The question is, are you any good at it? But look, the merger has already happened. Warner Discovery is already a thing. We're just sort of picking, you know, which brand we're going to burn into the cow's hide, right? So as we consider our rebrand, let's break up our customer base into two demos. The first demo are people that have existing experience with HBO's brand or Discovery's. Uh, those people are going to tend to be uh, based in the U.S., North America. They're going to be a domestic audience. And the other demo is going to be people that have no experience with either brand, right? So what name can we choose that is going to appeal the most to both of those? And what are our stakes here as we make this decision? Well, it's advertising spend, okay? A well-branded company does not have to spend as much on advertising. Now, in regards to the second demo, uh, which is primarily international, if you've never heard of either brand, then uh, it's probably going to take the same amount of advertising dollars to reach you. This is where I think the name Discovery uh, really has its strength. It's internationally. Uh, it's a single word. It sort of feels a little positive, like I'm going to discover something new. Uh, it feels good and... It can be translated into any language, which is also important, right? So uh, all of those things are good, and it would go great with a simple tagline like Discovery Plus, Discover Something Great, or Discover Something Great to Watch. Stick around for part two.